Hi, this is Bonnie. Um, I just wanted to record a brief video um, explaining the concepts that we went over in discussion groups. Firstly, kind of ran out of time, and second, the graphical intuition for the EV and CV were a little bit difficult, so I want to film this explaining um, Higgsian demand, Marshallian demand, and how um, the, the derived equations such as indirect utility and expenditure functions relate together to, uh, to, to paint the larger picture of um, equi equivalent variation, compensating variation, and change in consumer surplus. Um, so I want to start uh, by talking a little bit about how the dual problem of ut utility maximization and expenditure minimization tie together um, ties together these different concepts such as the Slussy equation, um, different demand functions, and different uh, utility functions. So um, we know that sort of in in this consumer problem there are two dual problems that give you basically the same uh solution and you can convert back and forth once you know the solution for one of them so on the one hand we have the utility maximization problem and on the other hand we have the expenditure minimization problem the utility maximization problem is interested in looking at how can i maximize my u of x, um, my utility subject to the constraint that um, the price times the amount of goods I consume is less than or equal to my budget y. Um, and the expenditure minimization problem, on the other hand, is looking at the inverse problem. So it's saying, um, how, how can I minimize my expenditure? So minimize my uh, price per, per unit good of good times the level, uh, amount of goods I consume subject to um, a minimum utility level constraint. And so subject to u of x, greater than or equal to u bar. These two different problems give rise to two different demand functions. Um, one is called the Marshallian demand and the other is called the Higgsian demand. Uh, so Marshallian demand and the Higgsian. The Marshallian demand is um, it, so I think it's pretty straightforward once you look at the inputs for these functions. So Marshallian takes a price vector, um, P, and an income level W, or say Y, as an input, and spits out the, um, the utility you can get subject to the budget constraint, while the Hicksian demand takes as inputs um, a price vector as well as the utility level and spits out the minimum um, expenditure you could spend that still gives you the minimum utility level. And these two demand functions are related by the Saucy equation, um, which tells you that, uh, which basically decomposes um, the, the, yeah, right? So that decomposes um, the effect, basically the change in the Marshallian with respect to change in prices into um, a substitution effect and an income effect. So this says that del xi, um, Del, yeah, okay, so uh, suppressing, suppressing the um, parameters for, for brevity, we'll say del xi, del pi, or del pj, whatever you want to call it, um, is equal to del hi, del pi, minus del xi, del y, times uh, x i. So this is the substitution effect. This looks at how the Hicksian changes with respect to the price. And this is the income effect, which looks at how the Marshallian changes with respect to the income. And that's multiplied by x because um, every sort of your income effect is um, measures a slope. And that slope has to be uh, multiplied by the change in the um, x variable to get you a change in the y variable. Awesome. So um, this is Slutsy decomposition. And this basically allows you to go back and forth between the Hicksian demand and the Marshallian demand. Um, Next, we have, um, oh, yeah, so to, to solve for the Marshallian demand and the Hicksian demand, we need something more than just utility function. So we actually need the indirect utility function. Um, and the indirect utility function uh, is closely related to the uh, utility function, um, but it is phrased a little bit differently. It is called V of PW because we have, um, you know, the, the additional instead of just saying u of x, which is how much utility you get from consuming x amount of goods, this is indirect in the sense that you don't actually, you know, measure how much goods you're consuming, you're just uh, measuring sort of your price level and um, your, your uh, it's just a, you can indirectly solve for your utility uh, by having the inputs price and income. 
So uh, the Walrasian demand or the Marshallian demand is related to the indirect utility function by voice identity. Um, so voice identity tells you that um, the negative ratio of the partials of the indirect utility function with respect to um, the price, again, taking P and Y as inputs, with, um, over the, uh, the derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to Y um, is equal to Xi PY. So that's equal to your Marshallian demand. So this basically allows you to convert from the Marshallian demand to the indirect utility function um, and vice versa backwards. Um, similarly, for the Hicksian demand, we also have a similar picture where um, we have the expenditure function. And the expenditure function takes uh, is framed uh, is phrased at framed at, as e of p u and um, it takes as inputs a price vector and a utility level and it is um, related to the Hicksian demand via Shepard's lemma. Um, and just to remind ourselves, Shepard's lemma says that. Um, the derivative of my indirect utility function with respect to price, so E sub uh, del E del PI is equal to the Hicksian demand, which is uh, HI. Um, so sort of from these things, we can see that um, there are a lot of interesting relationships that relate all these concepts together um, into a larger picture. And lastly, we want to connect the indirect utility function with the expenditure function. Um, and how we do that is we see um, basically there is some recursive and redundancy in how we express them. So basically, um, we know that V of P E of um, U is equal, actually definitionally equal to U. So what that's saying is that in my indirect utility function, if I take price as my input, and if I take as the other input, the solution to the expenditure function, and remember the solution to the expenditure function is just like, given my price and uh, utility level, how much income uh, was my minimum level expenditure. So that's just basically feeding the same input um, into another function, and then that splits the input that you feed into another function that will give you the solution to your original equation. So that's just saying that the solution to your uh, indirect utility function with your expenditure function as an input is equal, definitionally equal to your utility. Um, and similarly, we have that when you plug your indirect utility function as a parameter into your expenditure function, um, that is definitionally equal to your to your y. Awesome. So um, uh, this is our last arrow over here. So I guess just to make things clear. Okay, yeah, I've, yeah, okay. Um, it's a little bit messy now I realize, but um, hopefully these relationships should become clearer. Um, or, yeah, I hope so. Okay, cool. So um, this is a quick overview of, or I guess a rather not quick overview of um, these dual problems. And um, next we want to talk about um, EV and CV. And I gather this file is becoming very large, so let me just record it in another video.